learners. Today, we are going to be reading a book called What Can Swim? If you have a paper copy of this book, you can follow along in your paper copy. If not, no worries. You can follow along right on the screen with me. This book is about animals that can swim. Can you think of any animals that can swim? Say it out loud. Yeah, I know fish can swim. Maybe like dolphins or alligators. But I also know other animals can swim. Like I've seen dogs swim. I've even seen birds swim. Lots of animals swim. Let's go ahead and look at the book. All right, this book is called What Can Swim? And the first thing I wanna show you is the sight words in this book. Sight words help you to anchor your reading. You can use sight words to check yourself and make sure you are pointing to the right word at the right time. If you are saying a sight word with your mouth, you should be pointing to the letters that you know make that sight word. Let's go ahead and turn to page two. Can you help me find the sight word here? Put your finger under the sight word here. Here. Can you help me find the sight word is? Put your finger under the sight word is. Is. Can you help me find the sight word can? Put your finger under the sight word can. Can. Awesome job. This animal is called a hippopotamus. Can you say that with me? Hippopotamus. Can you help me find the word hippopotamus? It has a lot of syllables, hippopotamus. So it's probably going to have a lot of letters. It also starts with the letter that makes the sound like hippopotamus. Put your finger under the word hippopotamus. It's right here and right there, hippopotamus. All right, I think we're ready to read. Let's go back to the very beginning. I'll go first. Remember that we want to point under each word as we read it. What? can swim. Your turn. Turn the page. Let's read the title again. What can swim? Your turn. Turn the page. Here is a hippopotamus. Notice that I kept my finger down on hippopotamus. I only gave it one point. I didn't go hippopotamus. No, it's all one word, so it gets one point. Hippopotamus. Here is a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus can swim. Your turn. Turn the page. Here is a tiger. A tiger can swim too. Your turn. Turn the page. Here is a turtle. 
a turtle can swim. Your turn. Turn the page. Here is a dolphin. A dolphin can swim too. Your turn. Turn the page. Here is a alligator. No, why can't it be alligator? Oh yeah, alligator starts with the a, a, apple sound. That's the letter A. Does this word start with the letter A? No, it starts with the letter C. It can't be alligator. It must be a word that starts with a k sound. Crocodile, much better. Let me go back and try again. Here is a crocodile. A crocodile can swim. Your turn. Turn the page. This is called a glossary. Say the word glossary. A glossary is where the author tells you some of the important words from the book. Let's read the words. Crocodile, dolphin, hippopotamus, tiger, turtle. Your turn. Turn the page. The end. Great job reading with me. Before we move on, I want to show you that readers actually use the structure of the language to help them read. That means we think about what sounds right in the English language, and we use that to help us. Ready? Let me show you on the page. Look at this page. I'm on page two. Here is a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus can swims. Wait, can swims? A hippopotamus can swims? No, that doesn't sound right. Let me try again. Let me say something that sounds right in the English language. Here is a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus can swim. Much better. Let's try this on another page. Can you catch my mistake? Here are a tiger. No, here are a tiger? That doesn't sound right. Oh no. All right, let me try again. Here is a tiger. Does that sound right? Much better. Each and every time you read, you can use that to help you get it right. If it doesn't sound right, if it doesn't sound like something we would say in the English language, that means it's probably not right and you should go back, try again and fix it up. Are you ready to read the whole thing on your own? All right, let's go back to the beginning. You can read right on the screen or in a paper copy. Don't forget to point under each word. You can use the language structure to help you make sure it sounds right. And 
you can use the pattern and the picture. Ready? Go ahead, read the title. Turn the page, read the title again. Turn the page, read the words, point under each word. Turn the page, read the words, make sure it sounds right. Turn the page, read the words. Turn the page, read the word. Turn the page, read the word. Use the first letter sounds to help you. Turn the page, read the words. The end, great job reading. Awesome job. So what were some of the animals that can swim? Did any of these animals surprise you? Or did you learn anything new from the book? You can say, I learned. Yeah, I learned that tigers can swim. I didn't know that before. Thanks so much for reading with me today. See you next time.